Hi, my friends. Welcome to another day of yoga with Megan. I'm so excited to be doing this with you. Today's yoga lesson is going to be so fun. It's different than the other ones we've done. I'm not reading a book today. All right, so let's begin. Okay, let's take our special hands. This is the hand that has something special, something you like to do, something we're good at doing, something we're trying to learn how to do, right? And then this hand has something kind, things we do for others that are kind. And when we put them together, we see that we're each having something special and something kind, right? I see the special and kind things in you, you see the special and kind things about me, and then we greet each other and we say namaste, namaste. I see the special and kindness in you and you see the special and kindness in me, right? Excellent job. Then after we greet each other, we breathe. We get our body and our minds ready for yoga by breathing. So to do that, we're gonna take some yoga breaths. We're gonna breathe in through our noses, like we're smelling something yummy, and we're gonna put our hands on our belly, and we're gonna make our bellies get big and push our hands out. And then we're gonna breathe out, like that. Let's try it together, big breath in. And out, and in, and out. One more time, and out. Beautiful, I'm gonna try it with my yoga ball. So we take a big breath in, and a big breath out. And another big breath in, and another big breath out. I think we're ready to begin. So if you've done yoga with me before, the last two times that I posted, we did books. And one of the books was, um, actually, I apologize. No, we haven't done a Dr. Seuss book yet, but we've done books. And this month is March. And at the beginning of March was one of my favorite authors' birthdays. So, okay, hold on. My phone is, okay, sorry about that. My favorite author's birthday. Um, if you go to school with me and you do yoga with me in your school, then we've already done this lesson, but it's so fun to do it again. And if you don't go to one of the schools that I teach in, this is gonna be brand new for you. It's a birthday party. We're gonna have a birthday party for this man. This is Dr. Seuss. And he wrote The Cat in the Hat, and he wrote How the, uh, the Grinch Stole Christmas. And he wrote Green Eggs and Ham. He wrote a bunch of other awesome books too. So we're gonna throw him a birthday party. That's always fun. I love birthday parties. So I brought my special cat in a hat, Dr. Seuss hat with me. And inside I have all sorts of fun things that we can do together to make an awesome birthday party for Dr. Seuss. And the first one is a, hat, is a cake. Birthday parties are great with cakes, so we are gonna make a cake together. So first, let's make a bowl by putting our two feet together and our knees out. Here's our bowl, and I want us to put on our thinking caps and think of five things, five things we can put into our cake today. So, it's a yoga birthday cake. You can put anything you want in this cake absolutely anything. The only thing I tell my students is it has to be something we can eat. So for example, no smelly yucky slippers or shoes. Don't want that. Just things we can eat. It could be jelly beans, it could be strawberries, it could be pizza, anything you want. Five of them. So we're gonna put our ingredients in together. You guys say what your ingredients are. I'm not gonna name ingredients because I want you to come up with your own ideas. You ready? We're gonna reach up high, grab our first ingredient, big breath in, and put it in. Good job. Now let's reach out in front of us. Reach, 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 big breath in, and put it in. Our next ingredient is to the 
side, big breath in and put it in. And then over here is another one, big breath in, put it in. Nice job. Oh, we need one more. That was four. Let's reach up high again, big breath in and put it in. All right, now that we have our five ingredients, we need to stir the batter. So we are gonna pick up our yoga spoon and we're gonna stir the batter like this. And we're gonna go stir, stir, stir the batter, stir, stir, stir the batter, stir, stir, stir the batter. Now it's time to stop. Let's see, how does that cake look to us? Pretending to take a taste. It's not ready yet. Put that spoon away and let's pick up a new spoon. All right, here we go again. Stir, stir, stir the batter, stir, stir, stir the batter, stir, stir, stir the batter. Now it's time to stop. Let's see, put it in the batter. Pretend. Tastes perfect. All right, we're gonna put it into the oven. So we're gonna put our feet out in front of us. And then we're gonna reach forward and put the cake into the oven and then turn on the timer, click. And then we're going to go tick tock, tick tock, tick tock. Look, my feet are off the ground. Tick tock, tick tock, tick tock. Let's do two more and then I think our cake is gonna be ready. Tick tock, tick tock. Ding, 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 it's ready. Let's take it out of the oven and smell it. Oh, it smells really good. Put it down. <sighs> nice job. Now, the recipe that we are gonna pretend to be following makes the cake look like that when it's all done. And there's some brown things on there right here. Those are pretzels and we need to decorate the cake with our pretzels, here they are. So, they can be any kind of pretzel you want. So if pretzels aren't your thing, they could be jelly bean pretzels, they could be ice cream pretzels, they could be pepperoni pretzels, they could be regular pretzels. Any kind of pretzel you want, we're gonna put them on our cake. So, here we go. We put our feet back together like we did for bowl pose. We've already been here. Then we take our hands and put them in the middle and then we're gonna walk our feet underneath. And then we're gonna lift up on our toes. Do you see how I look like a pretzel? Big breath in and out and in and out. We look just like the picture. Look, there's the pretzel. And here we are, just like the pretzels. Good job. All right, the next thing we need to do for the birthday party is we have to decorate the space where the friends are gonna come over and play with us. So we're gonna go into Dr. Seuss's yard. We're gonna pretend, and in his yard are these things. These are truffle trees, right? Dr. Seuss, he wrote the Lorax too. And there were the truffle trees in there, so fluffy. Love them. This is really a headband, so I'm gonna put it in my hair. Okay, so. We need to go to the truffle trees. So everybody stand up. And remember my friends, when we do tree pose, when we balance, we wanna look at something on the ground ahead of us. There's my focus point right there. And these are truffle trees, so we wanna have our hands over our heads so that it's round and fluffy like a truffle tree. And then we're gonna stand on one foot. And maybe it's a baby tree today or maybe it's a kid tree today, or maybe it's a teenager tree today. What feels good for your body? Look at your focus point, big breath in, and out. One more time, big breath in, and out. Those look so beautiful. I am sure they look amazing. All right, let's try the other leg. Remember, here is our truffle, and now here's the base of the tree, the roots. Baby tree, kid tree, grown-up tree, or teenager tree. 
The one place I'm not putting my foot is on my knee. So let's find a spot. Today, this leg is very wobbly. Oof, I'm gonna have to go down like this. Do you see how my legs were different? One leg I could balance in a teenager tree, the other one I'm in a baby tree. They're both amazing trees. Big breath in and out. I'm looking at my focus point. Big breath in and out. Amazing. All right, keep that focus point there because we're gonna decorate the trees with balloons. So fun. And with streamers. All right, so first we'll decorate it with the balloon. Here's the balloon. All right, grab your balloon. Before we blow up the balloon, we need to stretch it. You ready? Stretch, big breath in. And out. Let's stretch it the other way. Ready? Big breath in. And out. Now make it big this way. Big breath in. And out. Awesome job. Now take your balloon. We've been breathing like this. But now we're going to breathe like we're blowing out candles or blowing up a balloon like this. You can feel the difference on your hand. If you go like this, that feels warm. But if you go like this, that feels cold. We want to do the cold breath. Big breath in and out and in and out and in and out. And one more time. And then tie it up. Good job, guys. Now we're going to take our streamers and we are going to put them into the truffle trees. So, oh, I hear my husband. I think he wants to come and be on the video. Here he is. All right, friends, we are going to look at our focus point. There he is. Hi, Kyle. Hi. Hi, Hi everybody. Thank you. We're going to put our streamers on our chocolate tree. So we're going to bring one foot behind us and one arm in front of us. And I'll do it this way. So maybe your foot is going to stay, but you're going to try to balance a little bit on your leg, just like the baby tree. Or maybe you lift your foot up a little bit. Or maybe you lift your foot up even more. That works for your body. Let's try it together. Ready? Look at your focus point. Big breath in. And out. And in. And out. Nice job. I put my hand on my hip. It helps to balance a little bit. All right, let's bring the other foot behind us now. And let's try it together. Big breath in and out and in and out. Ready? Let's put one way up high, up on your toes. Big breath in. This is a balancing one too. And out and in and out. Good job. Bring it all back down. Excellent. So we've decorated the truffle trees. We've made the cake. And now our friends are starting to arrive to Dr. Seuss's birthday party. Let's see who's coming. All right. Here's our first friend. You guys know this guy? This is Yertle the turtle. It's a little noisy because my husband's cooking. Yeah. It's almost dinner time here. All right. So we are going to do Yertle the Turtle. We're going to bring our feet together. We've done this for bowl pose. And then we're going to put our hands in the bowl and we're going to walk the mother under, just like we did for pretzel pose. But this is a turtle and sometimes turtles get shy or scared and they put their heads in their shells. Big breath in, bend out. And in, and out. Great job. I think your double turtle feels a little bit more comfortable and will come out and play. Let's see who's coming next. Ooh, 
Look, the cat in the hat came with the fish in the teapot. You see them? There they are. They came to join in the fun. All right, so for our fish in the teapot, we're gonna do the teapot pose. You guys can face me, but I want you guys to see what I'm doing. So I am gonna put my hands behind my knees and I'm gonna sit back a little bit like this. This is the teapot part, the bowl. And then I'm gonna bring one foot up. That's the spout that the tea gets poured out of. And maybe if you're looking forward, I forgot to tell you guys, make sure there's nothing behind you that you're gonna hurt yourself on. So if you roll backwards, you're not gonna hit your head anywhere. So make sure you've got space, readjust yourself if you need to. And then we put one foot up, and then maybe we put both feet up. Big breath in, and out, and in, and out. Good job. We've got the turtle, we've got the fish, we've got the cat in the hat, and now, this is the Sneech. Some of them had stars on their bellies and some of them didn't. They learned a good lesson in how we can all be different, but we can all be amazing. So we're gonna do the star pose. We're gonna bring our feet out wide and our hands out wide. And we're gonna take a big breath in and out. And maybe your star Twinkling. Big breath in and out and in and out. Nice job. Look who's coming. Stay standing. It's one more friend coming to join in the fun. That's Horton the elephant. Horton heard a who. Horton hears a who is the name of the book. All right, so friends, let's get our elephant trunks. We're gonna bring them down and we're gonna start to walk into the party very slowly, big breath in and out and in and up and in and out. Good job, all of our friends are here and it is time to play a game. So we are gonna play put the cat hat on the cat. There's a cat in the hat gonna put the hat on the cat. Now, the cat in the hat is sometimes a little bit of a troublemaker. So I don't know if he's gonna cooperate and let us keep the hat on his head. So we're gonna come into our cat pose, which looks like this. And you're gonna breathe and look up and the hat gets put on the cat, but then the cat goes like this and looks at his belly and the hat falls off. Silly cat, ready? Let's try it again. Big breath in, look up. Big breath out, look at your belly. There goes the hat. One more time. Big breath in. And this time, come back. Keep that hat on the cat's head. Good job. After the friends play their cat and hat game, it is time for Dr. Seuss to open up some presents. So, we're gonna be the gift that Dr. Seuss is gonna open up. All right, friends, so to do that, we're gonna come on our bellies and we're gonna reach behind us and grab one foot and put it down. And then let's reach behind us and grab the other foot and put it down. And then we're going to lie down all the way and we're going to grab our feet. And we're going to take a big breath in. And out. And again, big breath in. And out. One more time, big breath in. And out. Excellent job. I hope Dr. Seuss liked his presents. What do you think were in there? I wonder what his friends brought him. I don't know, but it's exciting because now it is time for Dr. Seuss to put on his Dr. Seuss 
birthday party hat. All right, let's all put on our hats too and sit at the table. So everybody stand up, put your Dr. Seuss hat on, take a big breath in, feet are together. Let's try that again, big breath in. And we're gonna sit down in our chairs ready for cake. Big breath in and out and in and out. One more time and out. Good job, big breath in and we sit down and we're gonna cut ourselves a slice of cake. Okay, so here's that cake we made. Remember with the pretzels, it would look delicious and all those yummy ingredients you guys put in it. We're gonna take a big breath in and we're gonna open up and we're going to have our piece of cake. See what I'm doing with my feet? Oops. I'm holding them. That's my cake. Big breath in and out. Good. Now, here comes the fun part. We get to gobble up our cake. Are you ready? Big breath in and we're going to go. If you have somebody else with you, like a mommy or a daddy, you can reach for them and grab their cake. And reach over there. Eat it up. All right. Now we've got to wash our hands and faces. Are you ready? Oh my gosh. Thankfully we have a little bit more cake left because we forgot to blow out the candles. Wasn't that silly of me? Sometimes I make mistakes. That's okay. Still okay because it's a yoga cake and magically there's still more. So let's blow out the cake candles and then we'll have a little bit more cake. How about that? Ready? See up in the air. Now these are Dr. Seuss candles. So they're gonna be tricky. We're gonna take a big breath in and then we're gonna blow out the candles. But they're silly Dr. Seuss so they come back up. We're using the same breath we used to make that balloon bigger. Big breath in and blow. Let's try one more. Big breath in and blow. Nice job, my friends. All right. Should we have a second piece of cake? Let's go for it. Second piece of cake. And let's gobble it up. Oh, that was such good cake. It was, it was even better the second time. And then we're going to take our napkins. Now, I'm not really putting it on my face, but I'm just pretending to wipe my face. And then I throw away the napkin and I look and I see I'm still messy. So I take another napkin and I wipe my face. Nice job guys, and throw away that napkin. Wow, what a busy birthday Dr. Seuss had. I think he had a great time with all of his friends. I think he had a great time with you guys. I know I did. And it is time for us to bring our bodies into Shavasana. So I'll show you the yoga dust brush again. I've always got it. There it is. Very busy, lots of moving around, right? So to make it calm, I need to make the brush sit still. Then all the yoga dust settles down. And that's like our brains inside of our bodies. When we're still, our thoughts settle down. But when we're busy and we're moving around, our thoughts get very busy too. So let's try to lie down and make our bodies really, really still like the yoga dust brush. When I teach my students, I like to put a little bit on their foreheads. But if you're with a grown-up, maybe they could just massage your head for you like that it feels so good but wherever you are you're going to turn off the lights
my yoga students. Not too dark. I like to put on some magic stars. They just feel so good. And you're gonna lie all the way down on your backs and you're gonna look up at the sky or you can close your eyes. Your hands can be by your side or they can be on your belly. And you're gonna take a big breath in and a big breath out. Wherever you are, you are lying down. Big breath in. I'm actually gonna do it with you guys. And out. And in. And out. Since my husband is here, we're gonna have him help us. He's gonna come lie down on the mat. And I'm gonna show the grown-ups how they can do a um, leg massage to our friends that are lying down. So he's gonna lie down with his head here and his feet down here. Hi, boys and girls. And grown-ups, what you could do is you could take our little friend's legs and you could push and push and push and push. And again, I'm just squeezing his legs very softly. And then I'm rubbing once and twice. And then I'm gonna lift up his legs and go one, two, three. And I'm gonna give a gentle pull and put them back down on the ground. Oh, am I done? He's done. Ugh. Big breath in and big breath out. Nice job. You could even play some quiet music. My music isn't working today, so I'm not playing it. But big breath in and big breath out. Relaxing our bodies, getting our bodies very still so that the thoughts settle down. And then on our next big breath in, we're gonna take our hands up over our heads, big breath in. And then we're gonna squeeze our knees, big breath out. And then we're gonna sit up, crisscross applesauce. And we are going to bring our hands to our heart center. And we're gonna think about someone that we love very, very much. It could be an animal or a person or lots of animals or lots of people. And they can be so far away, but they're on the other side of the world. Or they could be right here in the room with you. Doesn't matter. So think about the person or animal, close your eyes, see their faces. And then we're gonna take a big breath in. And we're gonna breathe out. Sending them our hugs. Let's try one more. Big breath in. And send your hugs. <sighs> nice job. And then we're going to bring our hands back together, special kind hands together, right at our heart center. And we respect each other by having kind hearts. Can you guys say kind hearts? Kind hearts. Good job. Hands to our mouth. We respect each other by using kind words. So helpful. Let's say kind words together, kind words. And then let's put our hands on our head. Oh, my daughter's here with us now. Everybody's coming down. Amelia, say hi. Hi. Put your hands on your head and have kind thoughts. Can you guys say it together with me? Kind thoughts. Good job. And then we acknowledge the special and kindness in each other again. And we say namaste. Beautiful job, my friends. Thank you for doing yoga with me again today and for helping to celebrate Dr. Seuss's birthday. I'll see you all soon. Bye-bye.